Hi, happy Thursday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase, and here's your next tip. Let's use today to actually make a solid body with those sketches from yesterday. This is the same part file, I'm just hidden the planes. I've also created two more sketches, here and here, that are just one point. This may be easiest to look at from a side profile, so I'll switch to a front view. Here we have the original circle, the two offsets we created, and those single points I mentioned. Looking at the stack of lines, it may not be very clear what it's supposed to be when it's done, but hopefully when it is done, you'll see an acorn in honor of Arbor Day. To achieve that, I'm gonna use the Lofted Boss Base tool. The property manager will prompt me for the profiles to use. I'll start with this sketch at the bottom, which is just a single point, and collect the rest. Keep in mind that these need to be in the order that the loft will move through. The program will show you a preview of what the result will look like as you collect these. If you get some strange geometry, you might want to check the alignment of these green circles. If one of those is out of place, it'll create some strange twists that can cause issues. Instead of trying to fix this in what is basically two dimensions, it can be a lot easier to fix if you change to another view and give yourself a better perspective. To get minimal twists, you want to line them up straight, basically the shortest path a line could take from one end to another. I'll add this final point and that looks just about right. However, the bottom here isn't quite what I want. I know that this point is where the loft starts, so under Start End Constraints, I'll change the start to Normal to Profile, which looks much more like the main part of an acorn to me. Thanks for watching. Contact us if you have any questions, and I'll see you tomorrow.